Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled deep in the mountains of Korea, there lived a young woman named Hyejin. She was known for her extraordinary beauty that captivated the hearts of all who laid eyes upon her. Hyejin had a gift. She could weave the most intricate and mesmerizing patterns into her fabric, creating garments that seemed to possess a life of their own. However, this gift drew the attention of a jealous and vengeful spirit known as the Hwaseong. The Hwaseong was a malevolent entity that thrived on envy and sought to possess Hijin's beauty for itself. One moonless night, as Hijin worked diligently on her loom, a chilling wind swept through her humble cottage, carrying whispers of an ancient curse. The Hwaseong, draped in a ghostly veil, materialized before her, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly hunger. I envy your beauty, the Hwaseong hissed, its voice a haunting melody. Give it to me, or suffer the consequences. He Jin, trembling with fear, refused to relinquish what was rightfully hers. Enraged by her defiance, the spirit cursed her, vowing to steal her beauty and weave it into a garment of darkness. From that night on, a curse plagued Hye Jin. Each passing day, her beauty waned, draining away as if sucked by an unseen force. Desperate to break the curse, she sought the guidance of a wise old sage rumored to possess knowledge of the supernatural. The sage listened intently to Yejin's plight, nodding with understanding. He spoke of an ancient ritual, one that required utmost courage and sacrifice. Yejin, determined to reclaim her beauty and rid herself of the curse, embarked on the perilous journey the sage outlined. On a moonless night, at the stroke of midnight, Yejin stood at the edge of a sacred pond deep within the forest. With trembling hands, she called upon the spirit of the Huashong, chanting incantations passed down through generations. The air grew thick with an ominous presence as the Huashong emerged from the shadows, its ghostly form looming over Hijin. Yet, instead of begging for mercy, Hijin did the unthinkable. She offered her own reflection in the pond as a sacrifice. The spirit hesitated, intrigued by Hijin's audacity. In a swift motion, it reached into the water, pulling out Hijin's reflection, which materialized as a tangible, pulsating form. With a blood-curdling scream, Hyajin's reflection was torn away from her, absorbed by the Huashong. But as the spirit greedily absorbed the beauty, it was overwhelmed by the purity and selflessness of Hyajin's sacrifice. The curse shattered, dissipating into the night air, leaving Hyajin restored but forever without her own reflection. From that day forth, she roamed the land, her beauty returned but only visible to those who saw beyond the surface, teaching others the value of inner beauty and the dangers of envy. And the Hwasong, touched by Hyejin's selflessness, faded into the depths of legend, never to torment another soul.